Hi, I'm Jeff Mackerlein, and today we're going to have an extra fun Tone Tips because my good friend Matt Schofield will be joining me to talk about his travel board, and I will be talking about my travel board. And we both use the same pedal, which is actually his overdrive pedal called the Supreme. So let's check it out. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit ring the bell, and let's dig in. How's everyone doing? Thanks, Jeff, for having me on. I'm going to take you through uh, how I use my Supreme pedal. Um, very happy with this thing. I get all the levels of drive and different little tonalities and touch sensitivity that I need. So here's the clean sound. Which is uh, just the, the SVL into the Two Rock classic reverb signature and uh, coming to you via the Ox on this occasion as I'm in an apartment and that's uh, what we can do around here and uh, as you can see you know if I dig in it breaks up and then if I play nice and uh, clean and uh, you know uh, that's the starting point. So then after that, I'll turn the Supreme on, but I'll back the guitar volume down a little bit. And this is like my other clean sound. And it's different than um, going straight into the amp because, you know, I've got no buffers here until the Supreme is on. So without it, it's uh, about 50 feet of cable to the amplifier and that takes a little treble off and then this restores it so gets a little sparkle back in I often play rhythm with that sound um, as you can see I'm taking a bit of bass out and a little bit of treble um, because when you play loud with the band you just don't need that extra bass. It's a bit like Stevie Ray used to do with the Tube Screamer, which cut the bass. That's actually really useful. The more gain you add, take some bass out. So a little bass out and uh, a little treble off to kind of give a sad face, uh, a little EQ to it, and bring a bit of mid-range back. And then cranking the guitar all the way up, I get a nice... Uh <laughs> And all different colors, and this this sound for me works on all the pickup selections on the Strat. So, you know, I can turn it down and get that sparkly kind of. Middle pickup gives me some kind of. Uh, Kind of an old BB, Jimmy Vaughan, Anson Thunderbird thing. Uh, back two pickups, kind of turn it down, a little funky thing. And a uh, classic stratty quack. And then bridge pickup, tones all the way up right now but good bluesy bridge pickup sound. And again, you can adjust the volume on that and... Really dynamic, play soft still, even with the pedal on. After that, if I need the extra little push over the cliff, go to 11, I switch to the right hand side of the Supreme. Uh, and this is sort of tailored. Uh, the guys at Mad Professor really worked hard on it to get it to make an uncompressed but fat, chewy, textured bridge pickup sound. <laughs> Ignore that 
last night. And um, uh, that's, you know, I'm not stacking. You can stack this pedal, but I don't like the compression that that adds. And, uh, you know, you can turn the tone control down and really get like a kind of fat. <laughs> almost like gentle fuzz type sound. And then back to my... And, uh, you know, live I would maybe have a little bit more level on both of the drives to push the amp a bit harder, but I find when you're in a recording scenario, and particularly with the aux, Pushing things all the way doesn't sound that great live through through a you know uh, speaker cabinet with great speakers. You might not notice that as much, and you can push it a bit more. But that kind of sounds all balanced and with a good set of pickups like these uh, Mark Foley's. Um, I can just get everything I need using the volume control and and that. And then just to mention, that's the first thing in the chain after the tuner, and then it goes to the delay and the tremolo because. Um, it's just more convenient to have it over that side. Anyway, thanks, Jeff, for having me on, and thanks, everybody. And, uh, you know, I got a bunch of Supremes available that would have been for sale at my gigs all year on tour. I got a box full of them because nobody has any gigs anymore. So hit me up if you want to grab one. And uh, see you soon. Thanks. So now I'm going to take you to my pedal board, and I'm going to be using my PRS DGT. So let's check out how that sounds. So let's take a look at the travel board. Let's look at the signal flow first. First thing to start. This is my guitar in into the tuner, most important pedal on your board actually, is a good tuner. I want to tune silently. Right, so you can tune quickly on stage. Oop, a little flat, right? And there you go. So really important that you have a silent tuner. You can use a headstock tuner, but they just don't look cool. So don't do it. Okay, here at the end of my chain, I have my echo, my delay. And I have a tap tempo on it, which is really nice. You can add that on. So I can change the tempo on the fly. Here we have the Mad Professor Supreme pedal uh, designed in conjunction with my friend Matt Schofield. I'm gonna use this side as a regular old overdrive. I really like this side, especially with humbuckers. Cleans out great. As I said in my pedal tutorial, set it so I can roll back my volume. Great pedal for this. Okay, now turn that volume up. Now what Matt Professor and Matt has done on this pedal, which is really cool, the way I like to use it, Matt switches between one side and the other as two separate overdrive pedals. What I like is they've set up that I can push this pedal, this overdrive, the Royal Blue overdrive side of this, into this side. So I can gain stage like we discussed in the overdrive video and the stacking pedals we did. What I like about that is it's in one pedal, it's small, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it sounds awesome. I can really gate it out if I want. You know. keeps that top end nice that's that's more gain that I'd probably want but so I really dig this pedal because I can use it in a way that uh, differently than Matt does and uh, doesn't sound anything like the way Matt uses it okay so here is my univibe in the front of that I like the sound of the modulation pre overdrive <laughs> I can get that whole Hendrixy thing. But I also like, I can use this Univibe much more subtly, you know? Kind of sounds great. Dial back that intensity. That's a nice sound as well. So here is my quick travel board. I have a modulation pedal, which I may replace with a tremolo or something that may be specific to the gig I need to be on. Maybe when you have phase shifter for some songs, but I always love the Univibe. It kind of reads the same way 
as a, as a uh, phase shifter or something like that. So this is what I bring with me. This is my minimal board. This is the one that kind of goes with me everywhere unless I have a gig that demands more. So there you go.